knew that James Heapy was going, but what we didn't know was Robert Halfon was going. He's the, or he was, the higher education minister, and he's going to step down as a Conservative MP at the next election. So the figure of people who, who are leaving the Conservative um, front bench, who are, who are leaving Parliament, is staggeringly large. And if Rishi is going to hold out until October or November, I'm sure it's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, I think now this makes 60, 61 or 62, I can't, I can't remember exactly, but um, he's inching towards that enormous figure that left the, uh, the left parliament at the end of the John Major session. And, uh, and there is a sense of rats jumping off a sinking ship. We, I, I looked at this idea of the rats and the, and, and the ship originally. It was rats leaving a, leaving a decaying house. And as we became a maritime nation, it became a maritime image. I'm not sure that rats actually jump off a boat because they know it's going to sink. I don't think it would do them very much very much good. But I think the image of rats jumping into the water <laughs> rather than staying on the Titanic is entertaining. Um, and he's written to he's written to Rishi Sunak and he said, after well over two decades as the Harlow parliamentary candidate and as MP, I feel that it's time for me to step down at the forthcoming general election. And in doing so, to resign as minister in your government. He says he's incredibly proud to support Mr. Sunak and the administration's aims to build an apprenticeships and skills nation, building on my own personal ambition, person, personal passion for this ambition. And uh, Mr. Sunak, in accepting the resignation, says it won't have been an easy decision for you to make. I respect your reasons for doing so, and that he's given a great legacy to Parliament. Of course, I think most of us have not really not really heard of his name. Most of us have no idea exactly what he's doing. And if he was so great, then wouldn't higher education be in a better condition than it actually is at the moment? Um, Joe Grady, who's the General Secretary of the University and College Union, says that uh, his resignation is yet another nail in the coffin for this beleaguered Prime Minister. It's no wonder our sector is in crisis when we have a government that has all but ceased to function we now urgently need a general election and an incoming Labour government to fund higher and further education properly. I'm not sure that um, the, the, the colour of the government is as important as actually having a government that functions. And um, the, uh, how, how, Halfen said his biggest priorities in the past were, um, were by challenging any university not offering degree apprentices uh, apprenticeships to ask yourself why well i would have thought the whole idea of an apprenticeship is about an en uh, is about an entry into work so why are you doing that at a university maybe a university can support an apprenticeship but an apprenticeship is about work and is about an agreement with business isn't it and maybe i've just got that all wrong but maybe maybe the government's got it all wrong too it's i think it's expecting universities to do too much, and in expecting that, they're effectively doing nothing.